In this lecture, you will learn what is a form array and how to create and use a form array in a reactive form. A form array is a way to manage a collection of form controls in Angular. The form control can be a form group, form control, or another form array. Now, we have learned that we can also create a collection of form controls by using form group. So, how is form array different from form group? Let's try to understand that. So, in Angular, we can group form controls in two ways, either using form group or by using form array. Now, the difference between form group and form array is in the way they create the collection. Form group stores the form controls in the form of key value pair in an object. On the other hand, form array stores the form control as an element of an array. So it creates an array and in that array, we will have form controls. Now a form control can be a form group, a form control or a form array. Let's understand form array with an example. So here we are creating a reactive form using this form group. And in this form group, we have form controls and we also have a form group. In the same way, in a form group, we can also have form array. So here I'm going to create a form array. For that, let's create a property. Let's call it maybe skills. And to this, we are going to assign an instance of form array. Now, in order to use this form array, we also need to import it from Angular slash forms. Now, when we create a form group, there we pass an object, right? So here we are passing an object and here also when we are creating this address form group, there also we are passing an object. But when we create a form array, there instead of passing an object, we pass an array. And inside this array, we define our form controls. So for example, here I'm going to create a form control. For that, I can create an instance of form control. And initially, let's pass the default value as null and it should be form control all right now somehow we need to bind this form control with a form element in the html so in the html i am going to create an input element so before this submit button let me go ahead and let me add a div and in that div i am going to create an input element and this input element it is going to be of type text now on this div i also want to use a css class so i want to use this css class let's scroll down and let's add it on that div all right now this div here it is container div so it is containing this input element and Inside this div only, we want to display all the form controls of the form array. So currently, in this skills form array, we have only one form control. Now, let me go ahead and let me add two more form controls here. So I'll copy this line and let me paste it two more times. Okay. So now we have three form controls inside this form array. And we want to display all these three form controls inside this div so this div is going to be the container div for all the form controls available inside the form array now what we need to do is on this container div we need to use a directive called form array name and to that we need to assign the name of the form array and what is the form array name it is skills so we are going to assign this value to this form array name directive okay and now inside this form array, since we have three form controls, we need to create three form controls inside this container div. And then we need to connect them in some way. So let me first go ahead and let me copy this input element and let me paste it two more times. And on these input elements, let's also add a placeholder. And here, let's say add skill. Let me copy this placeholder from here and let me paste it here and here or instead of doing it like this we know that this form array it is storing an array of form controls 
right so we can loop over this array and for each form control we can display this input element so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these two input elements from here let me move this attribute in a separate line and after that i'm also going to use ng for directive okay here let's create a variable let's call it control of and then what we want is we want to get access to this array okay now how can we get access to this array well here we have this property called reactive form and on this reactive form we can use a get method to get access to this skills form array for that all we have to do is we have to say reactive form dot get and to this get method we need to pass the name of the form array and the name of the form array is skills so here you can see the name of the form array is skills and from this skills array we want to access all the form controls for that after this we can specify a set of square brackets and inside that we can specify the property name which is controls so this expression here it is going to return us this array okay and on that array we are looping over using this ng for directive and for each iteration that means for each form control inside this controls property this input element will be generated so if you save the changes here and if you go to the web page you will notice that the three inputs element have been generated here which says add skill if i go back and if inside this array if i add one more form control like this then it should display four input elements as you can see now if i go to the elements tab here and let me move this a little bit down and let's expand this app root let's expand this section in there we have the form let's scroll down and here we have the skills form array if i expand this form array there we have all the input elements now you will notice that none of these input elements has the state for example if i scroll up and if i expand this input box there you will notice that angular has automatically added a state using this css class so it has this ng untouched state ng pristine state ng valid state but on these form controls which we have created inside the form array there we do not see that css class we do not see the state of these form controls that's because currently these form controls here so the form control which be, which will be generated using this input element it is not connected to these form controls in order to connect them on this input element we need to use form control name directive and to this we need to assign a name now these form controls are getting generated dynamically so which name we should be providing here well since we are creating these form controls inside a form array for the form control name we can specify the index of that element in the form array okay so here when we are using this ng for directive after that i will use a semicolon and there i will create a variable i'll call it i equals index and whatever value we will have inside this i variable that we want to use as the form control name so here we are going to assign the value stored in this i variable to this form control name so here i can say i but here this i will be treated as a string value so form control name will be i but instead of specifying the form control name as i we want to assign this form control name with the value stored in this i variable so here we are going to do property binding like this and with this if i save the changes if i go back to the web page let's expand this app root again this section again and let's scroll down and here we have the skills form array now you will notice that on each of the input elements now the state has also been added so this ng untouched ng pristine and ng valid css classes have been added and you can see that there is also an attribute called ng reflect name 
which is for the first input element is 0, for the second input element is 1, for the third input element it is 2, and for the fourth input element it is 3. Okay. So if I go ahead and if I touch this first input element here in the skills array, and if I click outside, you will notice that from the first input element, ng untouched has been removed and ng touched has been added. If I enter some value in that, you will notice that ng pristine has been removed and ng dirty has been added. Let's also go ahead and let's add some validation on these form controls. So let's go to VS Code and we know how to add validation on a form control. All we have to do is to this form control, we need to pass a validator. For that, we can use this validators. On that, we have a property called required. So we want to make these input fields as required fields. Let's do the same thing for other form controls. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now if I click inside this form control, inside this add skills, if I don't enter a valid value and if I click outside, you will notice that its border has changed to red. So the validation here is also working, as you can see. And if we look at the state of these form controls, you will notice that on these form controls, this ng invalid CSS class and ng touched CSS class has been added. So the state has also changed. So this is how you can create a form array. A form array is basically a collection of form control, form group, or another form array. Now to create a form array, first we define it inside the code. Then we also create a container inside the HTML like we are doing here. And inside that we create the form elements and we bind those form elements to a form control in the form array using form control name. And we also bind the container element to the form array by using this form array name directive. So if I go back to the web page and if we enter some value in the required fields, and now let me go to this console tab, let me clear everything here and let's click on this submit button. So you will notice that a form group has been logged here. In there we have controls property and in there you will see this address form group. And you'll also see this skills form array. If I expand this skills form array, there also we have this controls property. And in there we have four form controls. Okay. And the name of the form control is 0, 1, 2, 3. So basically here we are using the index of the form control element. And also if I go to the value property, so we should have a value property somewhere. Here we have the value property. There you will see that for all the form controls, we are reading its value. Then for the address form controls, we have the value inside this address object. And then we also have this skills array, as you can see. And inside this skills array, you can see the values like C sharp, Angular, React, and SQL. So these values are coming from these four form controls. And the value entered in these four form controls is stored inside an array. Okay. So this is how we create and use a form array in a reactive form. In the next lecture, let's learn how we can generate a form control dynamically using form array.